now we've been talking privacy with Carson, okay? So uh, you've got a DIY privacy project. Perfect for hiding in your backyard tanning naked, because apparently that's what you like to do. <laughs> I no, do. No tan lines on it's this ground. It's my house. It's true, it's true. It's Let's talk a little bit about vines, okay? Because okay? people like to grow vines in their backyards. And what mm -hmm. you don't know is that there's actually three types of vines that really grow in Canada. All right. There's the twiners, the ones that climb by themselves. Mm -hmm. There's the clingers, the ones that stick onto a wall. And then there's the ones that will grow by themselves, but you have to do all the work for them. Okay. okay, so let's talk about those ones first. Yeah. This is a perfect example. Now this is a bougainvillea. Bougainvillea is a tropical vine, but you can see this will grow up a wall. Yeah. However, you have to weave it. All right, so to you make can't it go in the exactly. direction that you want. You it can't to go. plant this on a fence and say go. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna happen for you. All right, so that's one thing that you got to be aware of with this type of vine. But you can have a lot of great color in the summer, knowing that it's only an annual in Canada. It's a really beautiful. Plant. It's true. Now mm -hmm. some of the clingers are ivies and hydrangeas, and I didn't want to talk about those because they're easy. You stick them in the ground, they do their thing. But Good. this little guy here yeah. is so important. Clematis in Canada, probably the most popular vine across Canada. Okay. Everybody seems to want clematis and want to plant clematis in their space. Clematis absolutely has to have a trellis to grow on. It will not grow on a fence. It will not grow on a brick wall. You can't put it beside a tree and say, do your thing. It just doesn't want that. It needs something to twine around. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make your own today. Okay, okay, so, so you, you can, can have this. this. Do exactly. Like this because it's easy. It's easy. It yeah. flowers. I mean, there's okay. some great tips and tricks on that particular plant. Like after the first year, cut it back to one foot. After the second year, two feet, three feet, and then let it go. Okay. Okay. But the amount of blooms on the clematis more than any other flowering vine you're going to find. Nice. Yeah, very popular. So this is one that I made. Okay. Very, very simple. You can get these for about six dollars, but I just tried to make it with very this? simple pins. Yeah. That's All very I did. Good. These are very simple pins that you can get at a box store and I got them at a Home Depot okay. and they cost, this whole thing cost me about six dollars to make although then I found it somewhere else for $5.99 so I don't know if I saved any money but you know <laughs> you, you got the idea but this is the type of trellis that you can put away and bring out when you need it and right. grow your vine and then put it away in the garage and you're done with it That's perfect very okay cool. some of the other ways to do it which is fantastic okay. is you can actually do it with bigger pieces yeah now so you can actually use this size of bamboo this is, uh, is this faux bamboo or is this, this real bamboo? This is the bamboo? real deal, yeah. Okay. And I got these for a dollar each, not very expensive. No. Again, I'm not going to do the demo with these ones because it would be a very big piece of screen, but you get the idea. Yeah. You can use any type of material you want for creating lattice. Okay. okay? Right. Let's do it with these ones because this is more fun. It's the right size. Right. All right. Just little Gotta guys. Be more manageable, these ones. More manageable. Okay. The key to making your own lattice is you can be as decorative as you want, but a lot of people try and do symmetry. Yeah. Symmetry is a little bit harder because you got to get it consistent. So yeah. you're going to start, you, you kind of had it laid out right. You're going to start with your first piece, you're going to okay. lay it out. You're going to take your second piece. Now I use this handy little measuring tool because mm -hmm. then I can get them all exactly the same. Okay. A little OCD that way. So I space them out like that. Yeah. Then you're going to do your next piece, space out it again. Okay, you get the idea for as wide as you want. Yeah. Then we're going to go cross pieces this way, the opposite pattern. Okay, right. so do your first piece. Now you're going to go this way between this one and this one. Got like it. that. Okay, yeah. then the next one. And that's the consistency. This is not difficult, right? Then you're going to tie it off. Now, obviously, you don't want to be using bright pink pieces of string. <laughs> people do that, and I look Some at their lattice, and I'm like, are you that. really? That's what you wanted to do. The key is to make the string as invisible as possible. So I go right. green twines or some wires, and you're literally just knotting off each one, okay? okay? Once you've got your whole grid built out, you can actually adjust it and shift it a little bit. Yep. But remember, this is not a complicated program. This, no. is, this is something that if you don't want to buy a piece of lattice at a box store, this gets you away from that a little bit. Got but what, what happens is on these types of systems, this vine will climb the whole thing. You don't want to see the lattice. You want to see the vine. So by doing that, if you make this a little tighter together, right. your vine will actually climb a lot faster. Okay. It'll fill it up a lot quicker and disappear. How long does that all take? Leanne, come on in here. How long does it take for this thing to like grow up and, and cover? A cover good clematis with a good root system will do it about a year. You'll oh, cover your whole amazing. lattice in a year and you're done. Absolutely. Oh, that's very cool. And you brought us cute flowers. Well, I, brought, I come bearing gifts. Well, we were very talking nice. about allergies before, and Carson's the flower guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to share my little tip because, again, we talked about how I suffer from allergies, but I love having flowers bedside. I just love the smell. Yeah, it's, it's not beautiful. the smell that bothers me. It's these little guys inside with all the mm. pollen that really create the problem. So if you get a nice open flower like a lily, here's a little trick. You just snip them right out. 
And that and it doesn't and it disrupt the flower the, at all. It doesn't disrupt the flower and it gets rid of the mess and you yeah. can tuck that right into your vase and you can sleep soundly with a beautiful fragrant scent right beside your bed. Did and did you tell her that's okay? Well I said it was okay, but the one thing I said is don't <laughs> touch these little with things. Your fingers. Now yeah, see yes. this? I'm gonna sacrifice just for the sake of the show. If you get this on your hand Take one for or the your team. table for the team, yeah. If you I'm get done. that on your hand, yeah. that orange can stain. It can it stain clothes, okay. it can stain your hands. So Stay away like from better that. Better off anywhere than taking it out. So we can say a big Goodbye. Thank you for all the great tips today in the privacy. Yeah, I don't like to wear clothes in my yard, so what? See you tomorrow on City Line. Thanks.